French professor Jules Hoffman was in Ottawa for a conference at the University of Ottawa's Faculty of Medicine. Right before the lecture, Professor Hoffman received an honorary doctorate from the University of Ottawa. Professor Hoffman, the 2011 Nobel Prize in Medicine, has raised your international profile far beyond the scientific community. As a researcher, what message do you have for the scientific community, as well as for the public, on the approach we should be using in science? Well, personally, I believe that um, uh, we have the responsibility, we scientists, uh, the responsibility to reassure pe people, particularly in France, that science is very positive and it's, some of the applications may uh, be difficult, but that's not done uh, by the scientists themselves. So people should be reassured that science is working for them and without science we wouldn't be, in any way would be where we are now. So uh, again, my responsibility and that of all my colleagues, I'm not unique here, is to, um, to um, give a more positive image of science again, to, uh, to convince people in our country, particularly in our country, it's not the same in the United States, it's not the same in Canada, of the importance of science and of innovation which goes with science. You are a prominent specialist in insect immunity. How did you come to be interested in the fruit fly Drosophila, commonly known as the vinegar fly? Well, I would say more generally we were interested in insects. And so insects, as I pointed out, um, they represent 80% of all uh, known species of animals. They destroy one third of uh, human crops every year, and uh, they transmit diseases which affect people living in one third. One third of population it is at risk of uh, diseases transmitted by insects. So it's a very important group, and nothing was really known in molecular terms and genetic terms on the uh, defenses against microbes beyond the fact that we knew they were relatively resistant. So we thought it was a good. Uh, good topic to start. Your career path shows how important the Strasbourg University and research environment is to you. What are your views on the university reforms taking place in France and especially in Strasbourg? Yeah, well from the point of view of Strasbourg I would say I'm very familiar with the reforms and the way they are uh, implemented in Strasbourg and from uh, that point of view I would say it's relatively favorable. Uh, the autonomy of the university, which is uh, fully exerted in Strasbourg now, is a very positive aspect. Uh, I know, uh, I realize that it's not the case in all the universities now, but for us it really was, was a very nice uh, event for the scientists and for the teachers. You have received an honorary doctorate from the University of Ottawa, and the Gairdner Foundation will soon be presenting you with an award. What academic ties and partnerships do you have with Canada? Well, we have had many ties over the years. We have, for one, we have had many uh, doctoral students and postdoctoral uh, researchers in the laboratory. I myself have been teaching at Laval University, and uh, for a time, and uh, also have worked on the uh, advisory board of the Canadian Centers of Excellence for many years. And uh, I've come to many meetings in Canada. And I love the Canadian science, and I love the Canadians. Professor Hoffman, if you had to choose your favorite memory from your career as a researcher, what would you choose? That's a tough question. My favorite memory from my research. I would say there were many nice moments. I would, could not identify immediately when, oh, could I say that uh, I started in the Institute of Zoology and I met in the corridor a young woman who became my wife. And that, and she has worked with me. She was my first student, and we still are together in Ottawa today. So, uh, 